Hello YouTube Vinyl Community, Mark Mai here again. Uh, we're doing uh, part two. Let me put my hat back on. Took it off, really. Um, we're doing part two of uh, Vinyl Finds number 37. A box of records that I picked up um, for, for 10 bucks. Uh, close to 60 records. Some of them were uh, Christmas I have them on the side. I'm not going to be showing those, but uh, we're going to continue right off here. Um, I, I've been to a lot of thrift stores, and I've seen this uh, Irving Fields trio, uh, bagels and bongos, and I, I passed it up every time I see it. I don't know why. I just never got it, but now I must go get it because I have... On the deck of label, more bagels and bongos by Irving Fields Trio. So it's in good shape, got plastic on it. Uh, someone must have been a child at some point, took a pen and wrote, but it's on the plastic part, not on the actual sleeve. So I don't care. Moving on, some classical here. Uh, like I did say, they had quite a variety of stuff here. This is on the Ace of Diamonds label. This is Hungarian and Slovakian Dances by Brahms and Dvorak by the Vienna Philharmonic Orchestra with Fritz Rainer conducting. It's in really good shape. Still has the plastic on it. Moving on. Paul Whiteman conducts George Gershwin's Rhapsody in Blue and American in Paris. Has Leonard Pinario as piano soloist. And this is on High Fidelity, which is a capital re-release. Uh, the MGM presents Alan J. Lerner and Frederick Lowell, the Arthur Freed production of Gigi. And uh, this, of course, is the motion picture soundtrack. It has Maurice Chevalier and Louis Jordan. Also has uh, Andre Previn and Cecil Beaton. Here's one I I recognize this, and whether it's because I own it or whether it's because I've just seen it a million times in the thrift stores, not sure. But this is um, on uh, Audio Fidelity um, label. The Brave Bulls. Music of the Bullfight Ring. La Fiesta Brava, obviously, is the Latin or Spanish way of saying that name. It's in really good shape. Moving on, this is one that I was uh, rather, rather surprised to have found. This is on the London um, label. It's, I think, reissued by Polygram. Yep. Uh, this is Digital Spectacular Stanley Black and His Piano and Orchestra. Another piece of classical here. Actually, a couple in a row here. Uh, Rachmaninoff, Piano Concerto Number no. 2 and Piano Concerto Number no. 1 by Vladimir Ashkenazi. Uh, Andre Previn conducting the London Symphony Orchestra. And again, this is really nice shape. It's also another London label. This one here is on the Angel label. And this is uh, EMI reissue. Albinani Adagio. Um, this is uh, has also Mendelssohn, uh, Scherzo, Handel, uh, Minuet, 
uh, Mozart March in D, uh, Bach Symphonia, Pachelbel Canon, and Beethoven uh, Twelve Con Contra Dances. This is Neville Mariner in the Academy of St. Martin's in the Fields. Again, it's in really nice shape. Nice and clean here on the back. Moving on. Okay, got a couple here. Now, these are a few that I'm not real familiar with, obviously. And um, this one in particular is the sleeve is written in French. So, but anyways, uh, this is Andre Gagnon, Impressions. And it says, uh, Orchestra National Philharmonic de Londres. De Londres. I'm not sure where that is. This is on Columbia. So, we'll listen to that, see what that's like. Here's one, obviously a vocalist of um, the stage. Uh, it's on a quality record. Uh, Elaine Page. It's called Stages. And, uh, some of the tunes that are on here, so you get a good look at that. Some of the tunes that are on here are Memories from Cats, uh, Another Suitcase, Another Hall from Iveda, Iveda, I'll be okay. <laughs> uh, Send in the Clowns by a Little Night uh, from a Little Night Music, uh, Don't Cry for Me, Argentina is also Iveda, you know, so that'd be an uh, interesting lesson. Another one I've never heard of this person, Jane Oliver, First Night. This is also on Columbia. And I think this is another person who was a, a stage performer, vocalist, in, in musicals and whatever. Uh, another French one here. This is on uh, uh, Barclay label. Special edition, it says. Hmm. Yeah, special edition. Uh, this is the best of Charles Aznavour. Aznav Aznavour. Well, he's the French singer. Um, includes she and the old-fashioned way. So uh, I'm sort of familiar with him. I, I've listened to some of that Chantou stuff. Uh, I'm gonna fast forward here a little bit because I just remembered. We have another Chanteuse. This one here is probably one of the more famous ones. The best of Edith Piaf. And this is on Capital EMI. It's in decent shape. A little wear. And a seam split at the bottom. And a little bit at the top, but happy to have it. Alright, here's another one that I was really happy to find in the box of records for 10 bucks because uh, this is one that I know people have paid that much for and then some this is uh, on RCA Victor's Living Stereo and I always love looking at these at the top of the top of the RCA symbol it always uh, it's a little telling a little meaningful message there this one says guitar fantasy <laughs> uh, this is Supersonics in flight Bill Murr. This is a great, great, great album. If you are into Exotica or Space Age Bachelor Pad Pop, you're probably familiar with that. And eat your heart out. <laughs> All right. Uh, here's one that's interesting. I, you know, um, I'm not really a folk kind of a person. I mean, you know, I'm not going to go out of my way to find folk music. Um, however, this one is, you know, kind of, I'm glad I got it. And it's in really great shape. This is Capitol Records, High Fidelity Record. And this is the Kingston Trio. And it is in absolutely unbelievable shape. Apparently this person must not have been a very big folk person either. There you go. Final looks to be in 
Yeah, really nice shape. I'm happy with that. All right, now here's a couple. I have quite a few by this gentleman, and uh, but I managed somehow to not have these two, uh, so I'm happy to have them now. This is on the Phillips label. This is Paul Moriat and his orchestra. And this one is called Love. L O V E. And it still has a plastic on it in great shape. Looks beautiful. Happy to have that one. Next one, also Paul Moriat. It's on the Phillips as well. This one is called Love is Blue. Again, the plastic still on it. The original uh, plastic. Nice, clean white back. Beautiful. Alright, now here's one I can't wait to listen to. This is going to be interesting. James Last. We all refer to James Last. He's a flute player. But this one is called Sax of Go Go. It's on Polydor. Nice and clean and white on the back there. I don't think I've ever heard him play saxophone. So, a uh, little tea break. Mm. During the during the summer months, I drink a lot of tea, and I brew my own. So, this is um, this is actually uh, a special concoction that I make. Lipton, I put in uh, first. I got a, a gallon container, four green teas, Lipton green teas, and one celestial sleaze, uh, yeah, <laughs> celestial seasonings. It's um. Um, uh, it's actually a raspberry zinger, so it's a comes out raspberry green tea. It's fantastic, and it goes down like water at this time of year. All right, uh, this one is Arthur Fiedler in the Boston Pops Orchestra. Uh, this is the Great Strauss Waltzes. It's called Blue Danube, and this is actually on a Phase Four on London. And still has the plastic on it and beautiful condition. John Williams, Greatest Hits, the guitar. And this is a CBS Records Masterworks. And again, looks like brand new, just came off the factory floor. Just unbelievable. Wow. The Greatest Hits, uh, and we're in the Greatest Hits section, I guess, now. Uh, this is uh, the Canadian Brass. And this is on an RCA Red Seal. And again, still has the plastic on it. Looks relatively new. Alright. A couple of uh, organ. I mean, we already told my organ story. Uh, of course, this guy is kind of a hit and miss on the organ. Some of his stuff is pretty cheesy, and other stuff is really good. This one I think might be all right. This is called Moonlight and Roses. Ken Griffin and the Organ on Columbia. And again, it's in really nice, clean shape. Now, this is one that I did find in that box. Uh, way back when uh, that a friend gave me and I did not like this guy and I think this is actually one of the albums I got rid of. It's called Whispering Organ Sounds of Brad <clears throat> excuse me, Brad Swanson. This copy is actually in really nice shape and it's nice and clean and everything. I just think that the material on it is going to be, yeah, I, I, just looking at it I can tell you right away I'm not going to I'm not going to like this. First song, Alley Cat, is a minute and 40 seconds long. Uh, next song, Mame, a minute and 45 seconds long. Then we actually have a decent tune here, Yellow Bird, but it's only 2 minutes and 8 seconds long. I mean, whatever. Next one, I know I'm not keeping, not keeping, not keeping. This is the album Hooked on Classics. If you ever heard one of these albums, it's just completely frustrating. The first side 
of the album is probably got, let me see, 17, 19, and 30, 30, and another 14, like 50 songs on side one. These are just excerpts of, you know, just, it's crazy. Just crazy. Tchaikovsky's Piano Concerto, uh, Flight of the Bumblebee, Rimsky Korsakov. These are great tunes, but these are only excerpts. And, oh, I'm not, not keeping that one. All right, then the rest are all things that are duplicates. I've got, like I said, there were, weren't many, but there's some. Uh, RCA Camden, Living Voices, Moon Glow, and Other Great Standards. If by any chance you see any of these that... Um, our, our duplicates that you might want, leave me a message, I'll uh, send them to you. Bert Campert, 3 o'clock in the morning. Now here's actually, this one's pretty good. I like this one. Um, the Mellow Guitar Moods of Los Indios Chaballeros. This is on a Dyna Group, RCA Dyna Group. It's in great shape. Um, and I love these guys, they're great guitarists, but I already have that one, so. Uh, Linda Ronstadt and Nelson Riddle Orchestra. This is What's New. This is the uh, second of three albums that Linda Ronstadt and Nelson Riddle did together. And again, this is in really good shape. This is actually a. Um, I noticed a, quite a bit of these are Canadian release. It's got a little Canadian flag up here. On the Phase Four London label, this is "Here Comes the Hits," Ronnie Aldrich and two pianos. This is a nice gatefold. Nice and clean on the inside. Great shape. I've already got it though. Uh, another one of the uh, RCA Living series on the Camden RCA Camden label. This is Ebb Tide. It's a uh, Living Strings plus Organ. Uh, another the uh, Phase Four on London. This is Tchaikovsky's Swan Lake and. Sleeping Beauty, and the new Philharmonic Orchestra, Leop Leopold Stokowski, this is again another gate four. nice and clean, looks good. Um, one that I actually have, but I don't know, I might keep this one, it's always nice to have a spare copy of this, just in case the wife gets a little frisky. Dave Rose and his orchestra, The Stripper. I think I actually am going to keep this one. Uh, this is uh, by Canada. This is another Canadian release. Which I, I'm going to take a look. It's, I think, a little bit different than the one that I have. Hmm. Just a couple more here. Uh, this is Michael Tilson Thomas and Sarah Vaughn, Gershwin Live with the Los Angeles Philharmonic. I do have a copy of this already, so this one is up for grabs if anybody wants it. And last but not least, another Phase 4 on London, Ronnie Aldrich and his two pianos. This one is called Destination Love. I already have it, so if you want this copy, let me know. Alright. Have a good one. And uh, I'm going to be doing a lot of listening, so I can't tell you exactly when I'm going to be having another video. But see you next time, alright? Bye-bye.